Hey guys, welcome back. Just gonna be doing something real quick on the uh, 4L60E here today. Um, not planning on making like tons of progress, but basically we left off with the um, input and all the, like the forward uh, clutches and everything, this whole drum uh, going in with the band. Band's giving us tons of problems. At this point, I'm just gonna remove the servo, which has a like a plunger thing right here. And then worst case scenario, I might need to remove the valve body to get to a pin that lives right in here. But uh, I don't think I'm going to have to do that one, just this one. So first thing I did is I got this C-clip off, that big one right there, just around there with the uh, screwdriver. Now this is pretty much exposed. I've seen a trick online to get this out. Basically, you just get a, uh, a pick under this this guy right here this might even just come out on its own but get a pick under this like that and then pull up which stretches it makes it thin all around which makes it easier to come out so i'm gonna go ahead and do that just real fast you need to put the camera down for that but pull that out makes the seal around it thin so it'll just pull out all right guys so right there it's cap pulled off i believe we have a new seal to replace this with so that should be fine and i'm going to stack them over here just so we have you know like where it goes in or how it does because I want to keep this all in order plus with the Corvette servo upgrade there are some things we need to do to it so I'm just gonna take it out one at a time here as it comes out all right guys pretty much got it I mean well not yet but took the servo out this basically just popped out uh, there's probably new seals for all this and whatnot in this and this but either way we have the new Corvette servo right there just need to look up how to install that, but pop that out, got the band out, drop this in. This is fully down and engaged. Um, basically, the this drum here, the top surface, touches or meshes with the sun shell. They had those like gears at the top and uh, then just drop everything up. So it's all aligned. So this is 100% aligned. No way about it. <clears throat> now, I'm going to try putting the drum in without having to remove that pin right there. Like I said, it's to the valve body. If worst case scenario I need to, you know, it's whatever, I'll just do it. But uh, there is some maneuverability here and I think we should be able to manage it now that that is out of the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead, put the band in and continue. All right guys, that was actually pretty easy. You have you can push the shaft a little bit and it gives you some space. So this part of the band is on the stud. This part will just need to be pretty much like tightened or what it what not you can see it has some movement this way oops that way i want to put the new servo in because it'll push on that band and then once that's done we just replace the seal on the pump or whatever seals we need to do on it put this on and then the whole internals of the transmission are done then we just have to do the valve body so pretty simple we just ran out of time uh last weekend when we were doing that so uh yeah pretty good or pretty happy that i was able to do this here so I'm going to go ahead and just quickly review the whole servo situation. This is the new one right here. These boxes are part of it as well. Eeh. And so oily. Can't have to look at what these are. But this is the new servo. I wonder if this is just a drop-in unit. Maybe it's just drop-in. That would be pretty helpful. All right, guys. Yeah, just reviewing this. It's exactly the same. So this is the old one. This is a new one. I kind of took it apart. And then it's got this plate and that circle thing, which is that. And then the whole thing. And I guess you just replace the spring. Just use this one. And comes a new clip. These guys are solenoids. That's what it was. So these ones will replace with the valve body. So I'm going to oil up these and then push in, I guess. It should be good to go. All right, guys. New servo is in. This is actually incredibly freaking easy to do. Um... Only thing I'm thinking is I think the Transgo shift kit actually includes some upgrade parts for this. So I'll just do some more research and do, you know, if just this straight Corvette servo is fine or if they want you to do some stuff because I know on some of them they want you to like flip some parts or something. Like flip it. I don't even know. There's some stuff. We'll just look into it when we come to the actual like valve body and uh, Transgo upgrade kit. Look through the uh, big gasket set we have here and we have a new pump gasket because uh, one we had failed pretty badly Got all ripped up and stuff. So just gonna remove this one and uh, put the new one on 
and we should good, be good to bolt the pump on. Once the pump's on, pretty much all done with the internals. Pretty sweet. And uh, worst case scenario, um, Vince wants to go through this and uh, change any parts that might be in it. I think we're good. Worst case scenario, like I said, we'll just take it off and just have to buy a new gasket, but it's not too bad. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bolt this back, back up now. All right guys, thought of a way to install this. Basically that gasket, you know, has to sit on holes very particularly. So what I did is I lowered this down. This is not yet touching the actual surface, but I got three bolts in and they're threaded. So I'm just going to slowly thread this in. This also helped just suck the pump down. But as you can see right here, there's a gap between those two. So I'm gonna slowly just bring it down. That way I know for certain that this is aligned. All right, did those three, anchored them down just very slowly. It's not yet fully down. I just wanna get the other ones in. And I know for certain this is threaded, or this is on straight because these threaded in super easily. And right there, it's gonna be, I mean, really hard to see it. There's not much light at all. <clears throat> but uh, I'm gonna get the actual torque specs, but you can see it is like fully seated down there. All right, guys, got uh, all these torqued down in a star pattern to uh, 22 foot pounds here. I can't really find anything specific online about these, oddly. Uh, 22 foot pounds seemed fine. Um, for delicate objects, usually that's kind of the norm, 18 like 22. But uh, got that on now. With that done, we're pretty much just fully complete with the internals of the uh, 4L60E here. Got the new servo, got all new clutch packs throughout the entire thing. Um, whatever else, miscellaneous things that we've replaced as well, steels, clutches, all that. Now, final thing to turn our attention to is the valve body. So with this handy dandy bracket, we can now get to everything just in here super easily. Just got to remove um, all these bits, the accumulator. I believe this is, I don't forget what this part's called, just part of the electronics, all the solenoids. There are like six, eight, six, eight or 10 check balls in here, shift fork. All this is actually very simple to replace. Um, we actually left the easiest part for last for this whole thing, valve body. Not going to take much long to do. Probably do this weekend or at some point. Vince is gone this weekend, so maybe after that. But whole internals are done. If we do want to go back into it for any other reason, should be very simple. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to do it. Definitely check out some of our other videos. Full build series on our 1,000 horsepower motor here. Rebuilt 4L60E for it. Bunch of other stuff. Mustang, supercharged Mustang, supercharged 3800 uh Camaro and uh, Bonneville. Lots of content on the channel, G35 stuff. Check out our other videos. Like, subscribe, and comment down below.